and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the uh, WordPress uh, branding from your footer. Um, this can be done a number of ways. I'm going to show you how to do this in reference to uh, using the 2020 theme. Okay. All right. So first um, we're in our dashboard and we're going to go to appearance and then we're going to go to theme editor. Now it is highly suggested that you use some sort of a coding editor um, connected via FTP. But in this case, because this is a theme that can be edited within the dashboard, we're just going to do it this way. Um, so yeah, uh, so the ne our next step, uh, this is showing us a list of files that are, you know, in our theme. Um, so we are actually going to select the theme footer. So um, from here, um, I want to remove the powered by WordPress. So I'm just going to take this chunk right here. So I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm actually going to cut it out and just kind of backspace until my, um, my indentation is all set and I'm going to hit update file and then we're good. So if we go to our site now and we scroll to the bottom, uh, the WordPress uh, branding would show up right here um, and it is now gone. So just to show you again, we're going to go back to the theme editor and go back to our footer. And it was right in here. I'm just going to paste it back um, just so that way you can see it. And we're going to go back here and as you can see that's where powered by wordpress shows up so um so one last time and we will go to our theme editor one last time we're just going to get rid of it so again just this uh, powered by wordpress delete 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 and update the file and now we're all set all right, so that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to our support department. They are available 24-7, um, and they can uh, assist you with um, your WordPress questions and things of that nature. Also, please feel free to check out our support center, which has tons of knowledge-based articles on WordPress and things of that nature. Thank you very much.